Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, I am dealing with an algae problem in my pool. Now I've had this problem for the last couple of years um, and I've always been able to overcome it. Uh, we'll see if we can this year. I'm gonna hope to make extend this video out long enough so I can show my process. Um, the first thing I do uh, when I see, and, and it just, oh, first let me set this up. My water was nice and clear, maybe just a little bit cloudy. Uh, when I first opened the pool, got everything cleaned up, got the water fairly balanced correctly. pH was still high. That's that's always my problem. I never can get the pH right, but uh, at the beginning, right? It just takes, probably just takes a lot of work and I'm too patient to deal with it and everybody wants to swim and all that good stuff. And then here's why I end up doing all the work. <laughs> okay, anyway, so we got this, We one day we took the solar cover off. So we took the solar cover off and it was bright green. And I'll see if I can add a picture in to show you. It was basically neon green <laughs> so uh, I knew we had a problem what I usually do first is I dump the algae guard in right there's directions in the back you can figure that out by how many gallons your pool is and all that good stuff um, but get get something in there to kind of stir up that algae and then I'll start working on my water chemistry too uh, at the same time uh, I, obviously I gotta let that circulate and flow and then I'm gonna start balancing my pH uh, to make sure my chlorine can work good and that usually involves dumping huge bags of baking soda in and i'll see if i can put a picture of one of those up i don't have one right now i need to run to the store and get some more uh, but i've about got this water balanced and it's much lighter green um, what you see on top here is the shock i just dumped in it's still settling and uh, making way and there's actually you can see the algae kind of kind of coming up let me see if i can get you down there to take a look there you can see the shock that I dumped in. It's still dissolving and it's still circulating. Um, but yeah, there's a little algae on top too. So I think I think we're working good. Um, but then, you know, comes the hard part, right? Where this is going to take a few days. And uh, probably sometimes even more than a few days, maybe a week. I scrub the inside of my pool. I scrub the walls. I scrub the floor. Um, it, is, it is a lot of scrubbing. You can see my brush has about had it. Look at that. That's one thing about these brushes. They just don't last very long. The bristles fall out. And I'm picking bristles out of my water all the time. But that's a, that's a whole other video. I'll make a short on that and share it with you someday. And then I hand skim everything and kind of stir the water up. I'll get as much as I can out that I've stirred up with my hand skimmer here. And I, got, I really like this one. This is new this year. I got this at Walmart, believe it or not. I'll see if I can find a link to that and put it in the description for you. Um, it is one of those anti-tear ones, uh, at least that's what it says. And so far it's been really good and it does great at stirring the water up. Then I'll take my sponge and scrub brush, scrub, scrub sponge I should say, and I will scrub the walls, the top walls of the pool around here. And you can see I still got more work to do on the back, but uh, the sides are looking much better. Um, but yeah, a lot of elbow grease in this. Uh, if you haven't heard or haven't seen so far and let me tell you how I do my my pump and filter when this a lot of people I think will tell you to just recirculate the water um, that may work I don't know I've never done it that way uh, I usually do it this way pump. I will run my pump 24 7 pretty much I think it runs in five hour increments that's the most this pump runs so I'll come out you know three times a day and keep it running so I guess that that's not quite 24 hours but it's as close as I can get to it by what my pump is programmed for and I'll wake up early and start it all over again the next day but in between pump cycles I will backwash and I will filter every time if you look at my grass right here you can see what's coming out of it <laughs> so it's it's filtering out it's getting it out but it just takes with this small pump filter system everything just takes longer right if I had a bigger I'll call it a uh, large above ground pool pump filter system. It'd probably work much faster. I don't know, that's a guess. But I mean, this thing, what can I say? I mean, yeah, it's it's seen better days. Look at it, it's looking kind of rough. Uh, it's broke off back here where it attached to this piece that the sand filter fits on just from sun damage and such, but it is still going and it still, it still filters this water. Although I will say that a bigger pump, I do believe would work much better. It would move much more water. Bigger pump, bigger filter would just move better but I test my water every day when I have this problem to try to get the pH right and try to get the chlorine right and my chlorine is always pretty much spot-on you can see my vacuum in there working well you can't see it but you can see the hose uh, that's another thing I do to stir stir it up from the bottom is my 
auto vac that thing is really good um, at stirring water up sending it to the bottom and shooting it around mixing it up which is exactly what i need for that that filter to work actually you can even see it's kind of starting to clear towards the top so i think uh i think we are on the right path to getting this cleared up i'll, I'll give you an update here tomorrow and see see what looks better but i'm gonna spend the day scrubbing and working and all that good stuff oh one more thing on the vacuum uh when it sits under there for a long time like that it basically looks like it's been in a pond it it is green and pretty slimy and nasty so i take that out clean it up every couple days when i'm doing something like this just to make sure i'm not sending junk right back into the pool um but that usually that's usually what i do um like you can see my chemical floater saw there i gotta replace that one let me, let me move you up a little bit i'm using my gimbal <laughs> you can see my chemical floater up there um not the best one i think i did a video on that i'm still gonna replace that I'm still i got one from amazon but I, i'm not sure that's one i want to recommend yet so i'm gonna keep looking at it okay guys you can see the water is so much less green uh it's much more blue now uh we're in the evening and my scrubbing is working now it's still pretty cloudy as you can see but i'm going to shock it again run my filter again for as long as i can uh probably scrub and skim some more tomorrow but i think we're on the way this algae is uh defeated <clears throat> so um anyway guys just wanted to wrap it up for you um like i said this will take two three days sometimes even longer depending on how bad it is this one was pretty bad i couldn't couldn't get the original photo i'm still gonna try um I started editing the first half of the video, but I think we're good. Um, pretty soon we'll be able to see the bottom, uh, be crystal clear water, and on the way. But yes, definitely much, much better. Uh, just keep at yours. Um, this is the way I do mine. Leave a comment. Let me know how you do yours. And maybe you have a quicker way. Like I said, this one usually takes me two to three days. Um, let me know. Let me know your way. All right, guys. That's all we got for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.